Marcos taking on Bermuda, island neighbors. Just taking a look at the uh, standings here, Barbados and Bermuda, both 2-0 and coming into this contest. So uh, the winner of this game will top Pool B in the men's division. So uh, should be an interesting contest as we get underway. Barbados playing from left to right on your field. Bermuda wearing red. And first contact, look at the driving legs by Tashawn De Silva. The fans calling him T as uh, he is, he, it's a rolling mall essentially, but now it's unplayable. He took it in, it was unplayable. And even though his legs were driving like big pistons, it was a scrum ultimately to Barbados after all that hard work. So uh, good run work by number one, Deshaun De Silva, taking that into contact, but they just couldn't get it back. Number two for Bermuda, Rob Forbes, Summers Bruin, where number three, number four, David Lund, Rich Cumbers, number five, Darren Richardson, number six, Antonio Perrin, chief number seven, number eight is Patrick Callow as we get this scrum down. Andre Landy, Jonathan Casty, Tom Healy, and Aldo Campbell. Barbados coming away with that ball, big tackles being put in. This is probably one of the more physical encounters we've seen this afternoon, two closely matched teams and they are going to uh, lay it all on the line to get the top draw in men's pool B. Fantastic backdrop here. The uh, big auditorium just in the background, uh, the largest flag I've ever seen. Some top-notch hotels here. The president's house right next door. He hasn't dropped in on this helicopter uh, now for a couple of hours, which is refreshing because it stopped all the games on field two as we got a nice run there by number seven, Antonio Perrin, Chief. Ball going back the other way, very precise passing by the Bermudans, great job getting it to Richardson now. Richardson holding on to it and absolutely manhandles and flings one would-be tackler. Judo snaps another one, he is a specimen. A great job by number six, Richardson, Darren Richardson and uh, I'll tell you what, the Barbados tackler is going to be looking at that going, all right, we got to plan this very carefully, try and take that guy down, and it's uh, he's a one-man wrecking crew. Looks like extras in a Jackie Chan movie, just flying out of the way. Scrum for Barbados. This will be their first real chance, possession inside Bermuda half. Harewood sticks his head down, goes a good three or four meters after that, trying to drive that ball back. Oh, and the counter ruck produces the ball by Bermuda. They're doing a great job at the breakdown. Summers Bruin came over at that, and then a big long clearance kick down the field. So great job by Summers Bruin to ruck through that trouble, come away with the ball, and then they kicked it down the field. And here's Barbados back on their own 22, wondering what the heck just happened. They were just at the other end of the field. 
So Bermuda just uh, showing very aggressive intent every touch of the ball. They're making big tackles. They're, they're hitting the line with speed. And this is third game of the afternoon at... to play rugby, but Mimina was doing so much with the ball in hand, but from inside their own 10 meter line, Barbados got it around the corner, and uh, then it was Hunt the rest of the way, and he just looked like a track star finishing that run against Healy. That's Healy with the ball now. He flings that back with confidence. Oh, and then that's a loose pass from number eight, Patrick Callow. Doesn't matter, Bermuda finding another... And a great waiting for you here in Mexico City.
So one of the most entertaining games of the afternoon by uh, my account. he replace fresh legs would have huge impact in a close game like this 12 to 5 the score here Barbados leading Bermuda Bermudan women's team uh, just sitting off my left watching intently cheering their guys on a lot of uh, you know, camaraderie uh, countries with uh, both men's and women's teams here. It's great to see them supporting each other in this very important NACRA tournament. We now have a player down, Healy talking to, uh, I think it's a Barbados player. So good sportsmanship there. Uh, oh, no, it's a Bermudan player. That's number seven, Antonio Perenchief. He is uh, slow to get up, and he is not going to stay in this game. He has been replaced. <laughs> nice round of applause as Parent Chief limps off the field. The restart from Barbados. Player with no jersey uh, is Aldo Campbell for Bermuda. Healy, quick from the breakdown, looking, checking his option, scissor play on, and that is to Sean De Silva. Nice offload to Bruin. Bruin now, and he's not touched. He's got to get up. Now he senses trouble. He wasn't touched, but they're saying did not release. And players and coaches protesting that he was not touched, and so he didn't have to release. He just looked awkward, but uh, nothing wrong with that. Now, pass, getting out to number 12, Bowen. And Bowen's going to score. And this may be the death blow for Bermuda. Second try in this second half. So it was Caddy, uh, not Caddy, sorry, uh, 
Callow trying to scramble forward. And he sensed he was about to get touched and was getting ready to release that ball, but he hadn't been to that point. So a bit unlucky on that one. But ultimately, it was number 12, uh, Jay Bowens, Jay Bauer, that uh, scored that one under the post. So that takes us to 19-5 to for Barbados over Bermuda. And not a lot of time left to uh, cut that score down. That's a nice high restart by Barbados. Healy trying to sneak her way through a couple of Barbados tacklers. Down the line was Campbell. Oh, what great running. Oh, now the release pass. That's number four, David Lund. He's going to try and get a little closer. He's hammered as he touches that ball down. Leon Driscoll trying to uh, put the shoulder and maybe shake that ball loose. So great team try there by Bermuda to make it close with a little bit of time to go. It's 19 to 10, conversion to come. So uh, this one might not be over just yet. Got number eight for Bermuda down. Patrick Callow. That kick won't go across. So nine points adrift with just a couple of minutes left in this game. I don't know if Bermuda's got the clock on their side to organize the comeback. <coughs> Coming on the field now, number two for Bermuda, Rob Forbes. Callow coming off. He had a great afternoon. He set up that last try with the link up pass. And, uh, you know, apart from him just getting hit in that, these boys are feeling it in the lungs, being at 7,500 feet uh, and working this hard. <laughs> Can't be more than a minute left in this game, probably more like 30 seconds. Next stoppage will probably be full time. Of course, game can't end on a penalty. That's a good high restart. Is that gonna go out on the full? No, Bermuda's got it. And now that's a penalty. Not releasing, Barbados taking another run at the line. It'll be a final try. This one from number five, Liam Caddy. Ran into Liam's dad, who I'd met down in uh, Trinidad and Tobago during the NACRA under 19 tournament. Great to see them again. You know, they're watching back in England, some of the family there, as the kick goes across and the flag goes up. 